Jeff Hardy is on a indefinite hiatus, I guess you would call it. His contract ran out. Um, he did the good deed and kind of, I wouldn't say job to CM Punk, but I think he helped elevate CM Punk. I don't think it was all Hardy's work though, but Jeff Hardy really put a lot into that feud. And um, it was something good for like CM Punk to work off of and become a believable main eventer in the eyes of fans everywhere, I think. And um, yeah, I'm going to miss Jeff Hardy. I wasn't always a fan of his, but I'd say at the beginning of last year when he had that feud with Randy Orton is when I started to become a big believer in Jeff Hardy as a main eventer of that calibre. His, some of his performances just were really good and the highlights pretty much of the last year or so and his ring work has definitely improved. He's improved as a storyteller and he's not just some guy that's like busts out the flippy floppy spots. He connects with the crowd even more now than he ever has. But now he's on an indefinite hiatus I guess. I mean... A lot of us would think, common sense wise, he'd probably return for Royal Rumble and maybe he'd be in the Royal Rumble and win it. But the thing is with Jeff Hardy, you're never going to know, are you? I mean, the cynical part of anyone's mind would be thinking, why would you run out now when you're in such a prominent spot and are uh, just earning a lot of money for the company? I mean, I'd say he's one of the biggest baby faces there, to be honest. I mean, he gets, like, Cena-like reaction. Cena still gets booed, doesn't he? But, you know, he is the top face of the company. And I think alongside it is Jeff Hardy. I'm not quite sure if he gets more of a reaction with Undertaker, but it's kind of on that level, and same kind of level as Shawn Michaels as well. I'd say he definitely gets more reactions than Triple H. But, um, yeah, quite, it's like, a bit disappointing to see him go, but I'm sure Smackdown will survive, but it has taken a hard shot with Jeff Hardy leaving for a bit, and, um, Edge being injured, and also Ray being suspended. Another thing, I think, personally, I think Jeff Hardy's smart to take this hiatus at this time, to, like, just heal up and think what he needs to do with his life. And hopefully he will come back to wrestling. I really hope he will. But I don't think like a lot of you should be surprised if this hiatus is for quite a long while. Or if he wants to pursue some other stuff like his band and his Illuminis or whatever. But um, yeah, as I was saying, Smackdown is, is taking a bit of a hit with their main players. But I still think it can be good, you know. It's always the rise of Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison. They're like slowly being moulded into stars. Um, I'm intrigued to see the CM Punk Undertaker feud take place. Um, but one thing that I think could be done that could help to rectify the situation is within time, I think they should bring Christian over. Not instantly, but... A lot of people said Christian's return is underwhelming, uh, he's on ECW, the third rate show, might as well be Sunday Night Heat, but I think he's done a lot of good on ECW. He's a two time champion of ECW, the new ECW that is, and um, I think he's done well. I think he like helped Jack Swagger a hell of a lot, not that I know if it's done any good now he's on Raw, but um, he's helped with that. Um, I think his, like, friendly competition rivalry with Tommy Dreamer was quite good, even though no one really cares about Tommy Dreamer. And, um, I, I'm interested in this feud with Regal, if it develops. But I think after this feud with Regal, and him, like, just having some good matches with some of the young up-and-coming guys on there, I think within the next two months, maybe... He should be drafted to SmackDown to help SmackDown out with their lack of stars. And the way I was thinking this could be done is maybe at the next pay-per-view, this pay-per-view coming, or the next one, Christian drops the title to Regal or someone. And then 
Like, there's an altercation with him and Chris Jericho in the corridor or something, backstage. Um, Jericho and Sho lose their belts. I mean, where I'm going with this is basically a Christian and Chris Jericho feud, or what's looking to become from a feud, to an alliance, with either Christian being a great good guy on SmackDown brands, or being a real big heel again. I'd love to see Christian as a heel again, but I don't know if the time is right. Um, looking at this past WrestleMania, I'd say he got one of the biggest pops of the night there. And it's a shame that the capitalization was on him winning the money in the bank for that. But, um, hey ho, you know, there's always something down the line. I'd like Christian to be in the main event bracket once again. But you always hear rumours about Vince McMahon not, like, not really digging his style, thinking, oh, he hasn't got the colour of a star. But I think that's bullshit. I think Christian's within the top ten workers and wrestlers in WWE. And I think he's brilliant on the mic and he can get the crowd behind him or he can get the crowd to hate him. But I'm thinking, I don't know, if Chris Jericho breaks off the big show... I mean, I think if Jericho and Big Show have a feud, that Chris Jericho would make it well, would do well to make it good. But I'd rather see something going on with him and Christian, because they have a past too. And I think WWE could capitalise on this within the next few months. And I think with Jeff gone, it would be good for Christian to move there pretty soon. I mean, the draft doesn't make sense anyway. They change it all the time. People move from place to place. And I just think it would be a good move for him to move to SmackDown. And it would shake things up a bit and help people. He could have like interesting matches with Ziggler or John Morrison. Even CM Punk, Undertaker, Ray when he comes back. And also when Edge comes back, there's all that again. But yeah, there's just some brief thoughts about Jeff leaving, where Christian's at, and if Christian could come back to SmackDown, which I'd very much like. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Cheers.